and welcome to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce, where we connect with Troy Chamber members as they give us a glimpse into their company and share some of the business lessons they've learned along the way. Hi, everyone. I'm Tara Thompson-Cusack, President and CEO of the Troy Chamber of Commerce, and I'm joined today by the lovely co-host, Sheila Denstead. Hello out there. <laughs> so, guys, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, honestly, we would like to just have a good, candid conversation about some of the great reasons why you should join the Troy, join the Troy Chamber. I love how I haven't had enough coffee. I'm already saying words a little funnier. Uh, but obviously, I'm here with Sheila Dutza. She's been with the organization for such a long time. She eons and eons. <laughs> it's not that long. Uh, but Sheila, you know, one thing I always was curious about, you're out in the field a lot. What do you think is the number one reason why people are joining the Troy Chamber? I think it's all the networking opportunities that we offer our members, be it um, C-level, be it sales, be it everywhere in between. We have something for everyone and something I know we're all very proud of. Yeah, I know uh, we actually had an event, our morning jam that happened in January. <laughs> wow. So uh, Sheila comes into my office and she's like, hey, we've got about 56 people registered for this event. So we only have 60 minutes. Everybody gets just a minute. So we only have a minute for each of them. So, you know, you know, maybe some people are just not going to show. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Yeah, 10% no show. Yeah, yeah that's mm -hmm. standard. Uh, so what actually happened? We had 20% over show <laughs> and had our largest um, morning jam we've had in my 13 years at the chamber. It was beyond exciting. Um, you can see the pictures on TroyChamber.com and on our Facebook page. Um, what a fantastic way to start 2023. Yeah, and I mean, we had almost 80 people attend an event that we expected 40. Um, but what was so cool about it is everyone was so engaged. And I, I think people always say, oh, Januarys are slow. That many people are going to want to come to this. But maybe it's the whole New Year's resolution. Like, do you, I mean, there's a pure joy in this year. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how else to state it. Um, just talking to everyone, they're very optimistic. They're seeing great things, not only happening in Troy, but in surrounding communities. And they're bringing it back to our events. We even had our leadership enrichment group meeting. Yeah. And again, there was an optimism for this year, which is something I think that hasn't been seen in a few years since that little hiccup a few years back. Well, and with the Leadership Enrichment Group, obviously we've seen substantial growth in that as well. Like, I mean, it kind of teetered off in a few years ago, yeah. but like, what's it what's it looking like now? Well, one of the major reasons I think that obviously it's doing well is we have two great chair people. Yeah. We have Dr. Joan Hockenstad and Madonna Von Fossen, who are also board members, but we're back in person. <laughs> and people, we all know we need people. And we've had that opportunity to bring it back. Both Dr. Joan and Madonna have set forth a really great schedule fully focused on leadership, um, every aspect, things to, to make you a better leader, um, things to help engage your team to make them better leaders. Yeah. We're even going to be talking about mental health. So on um, first Wednesday of every month over in the PNC building from 830 to 10, come join us. It's a great event. Yeah, and there's a, a big thing about the breakfast burritos, I think. We won't talk about the breakfast burritos. <laughs> Everybody loves those things. It's kind of insane. Uh, one of the other things, too, is obviously there's always time to upgrade. I think a lot of people don't understand that we have multiple levels in the chamber. It's not based off how many employees you have, and we do that purposefully. So why don't you talk to us a little bit about that? It really... Um it's about what you want to get out of mm -hmm. a chamber membership. Each of the levels is amazing, is wonderful, but they all offer something a little bit different, be it different marketing opportunities, be it some um, exclusive networking opportunities. It's about what you want to put into your membership. And of course, if you're, say, at a Browns level now and you've been a member, say, six months and you see, hey, you know what? I really want to do that podcast. Yeah. Want to look at that uh, gold level membership, which includes a podcast, and you could be in the seat next to us today, um, or some other marketing opportunities, including website ads and ads in our Troy Chamber Insider. Um, again, we don't base it on how many employees you have. You can have one, you can have 1,000. Yeah. It's all about what you want to get out of the membership. Well, and you can upgrade at any time. I think Anytime. that's the other piece of if you're, you're a bronze level, you don't have to stay bronze. You could Correct. see like, oh my goodness, I really want to go to that. We want to move up to platinum. We want to move up to silver. Um, you can prorate these memberships at any time. Um, we can and Jody can. And Jody <laughs> does a great job on that. Uh, shout out to our director of finance oh, on that. Yes. 
Um, another great thing I, I always like to talk about with our chambers is the ability to build relationships. And I think one of the great ways to do that is not just at our networking and educational events, but I think our committees drive a lot of what we do and how you can build stronger connections. Do you want to talk through some of the committees we have? Absolutely. Um, again, one of the pride factors in our chambers, we have a little bit of something for everyone. So we have, a, like I mentioned, the leadership enrichment group. We have a women's business forum. We have a young professionals uh, group. Which is doing great. They actually got media public or uh, like publicity on CBS yeah, News. It was pretty cool. Yeah. And Tara and I both have heard about these <laughs> meetings. Unfortunately, cannot attend. We're too old. Um, we have a golf committee that puts together an annual golf outing that has over 144 people in attendance. Um, so our nonprofit network, how can I forget about yeah. them? An amazing group of 70 plus nonprofits uh, throughout Southeastern Michigan that get together to share ideas. I say share. They mm -hmm. used to never be like that, but now they're working together. They're creating relationships and finding ways that they can benefit both all their nonprofits. Well, if you don't mind me adding yeah. on the nonprofit aspect, one thing that's really unique about our nonprofit, we're one of the largest chambers for nonprofits. Correct. We we don't have just nonprofits in Troy. We have nonprofits, actually some are nationwide. Um, what's really interesting about it is this is where we have a revenue share program as well. So after a, cha after a nonprofit member joins the Troy Chamber, after one year of being in the chamber and fulfilling the requirements of showing up to these meetings, it's once a month and they don't, they can't miss more than two. And then they attend the conference. They actually get a share of the revenue from the conference. So last year we had 23 nonprofit members actually receive their membership for free. So it's, it's a very cool way of giving back to the community, but it's also getting their education and helping them better their organizations, which is our job. Well, it, and you hit on something, too, that I want to reiterate. Um, we have large and small, and they work together. They mm -hmm. play nicely in the sandbox, and they truly learn from each other. It's just so amazing to see. And one other group I want to make sure I hit on is one of my favorites, which is our hospitality committee. Um, it is hoteliers and restaurant tours in Metro Detroit, again, mainly based in Troy. They get together, and they learn what's going on in the region, um, we have representation from the Convention Bureau, from local, um, from Oakland County, all different things. So they're always kept up to date on what's happening in the area. It helps with their staffing and so much more. And we will have a podcast coming up uh, soon yeah. to a YouTube channel near you on the Hospitality Committee <laughs> and some of the things affecting it right now. And um, I, there was one other one. It just went uh, right out of my BDGs, head. BDGs, BDGs. Business Development there Groups. There we go. And our Economic Development oh, Forums. Oh, yeah, I love that uh, that's sponsored by SMART, so I want to make sure we uh, talk about that, too. Those meetings are quarterly coming up and focusing on that just that economic development, again, in southeastern Michigan. Yeah, it doesn't sound like we're busy at all. Nope, nope. never. <laughs> you know what, everyone? I think this is a good time to take a little commercial break um, where you can learn how you can rely on Tryon. We'll see you in a sec. There are things you can rely on in this world, like your dog being happy to see you, coffee getting you through the day, and the government changing business regulations. And when it comes to navigating those regulations, you can rely on Tryon and its team of attorneys. Tryon can also tackle time-consuming HR tasks like payroll and employee benefits, so you can stay focused on growing your business. With Tryon, you don't have to grow it alone. Visit RelyOnTryon.com. All right, and welcome back to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. I am here with Sheila Densett, Vice President of the Troy Chamber. And Sheila, we have got one of our key events coming up. I am, I, you know, I love this event, but I, I think I love it more because we've had to do it virtual for the past yes. few years. And this is the first time live and in person that we will be hosting our TC Business Excellence Awards presented by Horizon Bank. So uh, before we start talking a little about the voting and everything, why don't we talk a little bit about the event? So tell us a little bit. March 2nd. 8.30 or 8 o'clock. 8.30 a.m. Yep. 8.30. We like that whole like busly way. You drive your kids yeah. to the bus and we're good. So MSU <laughs> Education Center, like Tara said, first time in person. We can't wait. We're hoping to have 150 to 200 mm -hmm. of our closest friends there to celebrate our members. Uh, there's no other way to look at it. We have 70 plus nominees yeah. and 
14 categories. It's just going to be really exciting. Hopefully no one's in the bathroom when their award's announced. We Should should we have feet uh, seat fillers that come? I was going to say oh. feet fillers. That was weird. Um, can we do seat fillers where we'll just rotate when people get up? Like, is this like going to be the Oscars? I think so. I think we should. <laughs> so one cool thing, too, is we obviously we listen to our members. And when we have the voting, so the voting is coming out. So you'll, by the time this airs, most likely voting will be in full force. So what's cool about it is that all of the nominees are sharing out and you get to vote for whoever you want to win for each of these categories, whether it's diversity champion, uh, creative disruptor, community impact, or inspiring tomorrow. Resiliency. Resiliency Young award. professional. Oh, yeah, yeah. Still, we're not eligible for that yeah. one. But uh, one thing that's neat about it is that people were saying, hey, we we don't want it to be just a popularity contest and say, hey, her, that girl's mom can vote for her 37 times. That is true. So what we did make some changes, though. So what we're going to do is we're still going to have that. We need the audience to be engaged. We want people to vote online because that's going to be 60% of the vote. But this year, 40% of the vote is going to come from our board our ambassadors, and our committee members. So that's what makes it unique is that these are the people who are part of the chamber on a Boots daily on routine. The Boots on the ground, exactly. Yeah. And they are the ones who know what's going on in reality, not just the outside public. So it's going to have a little bit more, I don't know, would you say fair? or what? what would I want to say? say legitimacy, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, all right, let's go with legitimacy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So we're excited. We're just very excited. So join us on March 2nd, like I said, MSU Education Center. All the information can be found on www.troychamber.com backslash events. Wow. That was, and it was chamber events backslash, by the way. Hey. Chamber events. Yeah. <laughs> that's weird that we even know that. Well, guys, that's all we have today for you on Members on the Mic with the Tri Chamber of Commerce. We're really grateful to have you all as members. If you have questions about your membership, if you have questions about upcoming events, always feel free to reach out to us. Special thanks to Tryon Solutions, our presenting sponsor. And that's all we have for you. If for more information, go to www.troychamber.com. <laughs> Hope to see you soon. <laughs> Have a great day, guys. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.